right, today we're going to go over the uh, Humet operation and kind of review with the new engine kind of what our SOP is going to be. So unlike uh, engine 1.1 one one now, our 5 inch has an actual um, hydrogen adapter on it. So we have the option to either use a Humat um, or just go directly onto the hydrant with the 5 inch. It's going to be the call of the officer or the driver. If you're going to be assigned to the hydrant, they're going to let you know when you get to the scene. Um, but either way, you're going to need to grab the 5 inch. You're going to need to undo the, uh, the clips on the back of the netting. And the Humat is now located inside the back. So if they say you're, you're just going with 5 inch, you're just going to grab the 5 inch and the hydrant bag. If they're going to say that you go with the Humat, then you need to grab all three. Pull out, Velcro strap comes undone, up we go. I'm going to leave that on the truck. Coming over here, this piece of 5 inch is simulating the hose line coming off the back of the truck. Um, so you're going to grab this equipment and you're going to want to wrap the hydrant. Then you can give the driver the okay to move. Um, once they once they take off and there's a length of two of five inch in the street, you can start your operation. Um, there's no need to rush. They've got plenty of water on the truck, so be sure to take your time and do this operation thoroughly. So once they're out of the way, you can undo your five inch. Now we're going to flush the hydrant. We've got two options. We've got a um, hydrant wrench on the humat valve, and there's also a hydrant wrench in the hydrant bag. Um, so you've got either option. To use the Humat valve though, you're going to need to take this hydrant wrench off. So we'll just go with this guy. Now we have our hydrant wrench. First thing we're going to do is flush our hydrant. The point of this is to get any uh, debris that's inside the, the hydrant outlet out first and to let the water circulate through. So um, it shouldn't take more than 10 to 20 seconds. You just want to go to you don't have any ugly orange water coming out. And you always want to stand behind the hydrant. You don't want to stand in front of any of the outlets in case something should, should fly off and, and hurt you. So you're just going to open the hydrant, flush the debris out, and then close it again. Again, shouldn't be more than 10 to 20 seconds. If we're going with just 5 inch, it's simple. We're going to take our uh, valve and go straight into our hydrant. That's all we're going to do. We're going to get nice and tight on there. Once it's ready to go, we call the driver, tell them they're, they're ready to charge the line. We need to wait until we get that order. If you charge it too early, it's going to mess a lot of things up. So wait. Again, you can be patient with this process. If, however, they told you that they want to use, they want you to use the Humat valve. If you're the Humat, there's only one valve that, or one outlet that goes on a hydrant. It's got ears on it and it's a female connection. You have two storage connections and one male threaded. Only one will fit on the hydrant, so that makes life easy for us. So we'll start with that. And make our connection. Once we got that in place, come a little closer for me, Kevin. Before on the engine one one, it's all connected, so it's, there's no thinking involved. But now we're going to have to make some connections. So let's look at what our options are. So we've connected to our hydrant. That outlet has ears on it, so that's easy to identify. Now we have a nice big arrow. Okay. So our flow from the hydrant to the fire is going to be the outlet from that arrow, which means this is going to be our outlet we're going to hook up to. So what we'll do is remove the hydrant adapter from the end of our storage connection. Make our connection to the Humat. That's all we got to do. Now, something that's key. I need the water to go out this hose and not at my face. When I look in the end, I want to make sure it's closed, the clapper valve's closed. If it's open, that means the water's going to shoot right at me and not follow the arrow towards the hose. So we're going to make sure this is closed before we charge it. Then, wait for word for water once we get the word. Off we go. That's normal. You're going to see some water out there. But that's a summary of how we're going to operate using the new engine with 5 inch and/or the Humat valve.